Yo, this one needs to be talked about. I haven't talked about all the games or whatever like that, but bottom line is this one really needs to be talked about. This could have been the worst performance I've ever seen from a second seed going against a seventh seed in my entire existence. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, check the thumbnail. You know what it is. Packers and Cowboys. Boy. I tried to load up other wild card games or whatever like that, but this game comes on so much. I've seen so many different reactions to it that I said, you know what? Let me just give you my perspective on what happened. All right, let's clarify this. The Packers got in off the strength of the Saints winning, but since the Bucks won, the Falcons was out regardless. And because Green Bay won, that means Seattle and the Saints were out. That's how they got the seventh seed. Now, the Cowboys are playing a little bit better than the Eagles. The Eagles is terrible the last six weeks of the season. Cowboys ended up getting the number two spot. Now we got that out of the way. Cowboys have been undefeated at home this year. Matter of fact, they were undefeated at home this year and last year coming into this game. Nigga. And you know me, I'm a Ravens fan, so I really don't care. But bottom line is, this is egregious. As a football fan, this shit was ridiculous. Aaron Jones comes out there, bum rushing through the dag on defense. First TD, 7 nothing. Dak tried to get some things going. Shit ain't happened. Jordan Love gets some passes down the middle, just doing whatever he wants. Aaron Jones rushes in again, second TD for Aaron Jones. Dak Possession doing a little bit of something. I think CD Lamb got to catch Jake Ferguson, got something. I'm going to tell you right now, Jake Ferguson is literally the only person on this team that did anything, that have any type of value or respect for anything in this game. Three and out. Joy Love throwing down the field, carving up defenses. Romeo Dobbs is doing whatever the hell he wants as secondary. He's just treating like straight pitches. Jordan Love throws a pass over to the middle. Wick scores a touchdown, 20 to nothing. When I say 20 to nothing, because their kicker, they don't have Mason Crosby out there. What's their kicker name? Andre something or whatever like that. Bounces off the crossbar on some Cody Parkey shit. That's not going to be the only time I mention that. But bottom line is it's 20 to nothing. Dak throwing the ball, he gets it down the field. I think they're like the Green Bay 40-yard line, right? And then Savagery comes out because Dak throws a pick to Darnell Savage. Pick six, 27 to zero. Keep in mind, you got a couple minutes left before halftime. They were lucky to get Jake Ferguson down the field right before halftime. Literally two seconds left, and Jake Ferguson scores 27-7 to halftime. Boy, Dak gets the ball downfield. Bottom line is they end up kicking the field goal. Green Bay is so disrespectful at this point. They're not even attempting to block the kicks. 27-10. to Aaron Jones on the ground carving them up once again. Romeo Dobbs is getting whatever the fuck he wants on that other side. They're... I swear to God, I didn't think Dallas defenders were even on the right side at this point. Aaron Jones rushes for the TD, throws the hat trick up. Three for him. That ends up getting him down the field. You know what I'm saying? Tony Pollard rushes in and gets his TD or whatever like that. They go for the two-point conversion. You think they get it, but then the flag's on the play. Yo, it's two penalties on the offense on a two-point conversion. I've never heard no shit like that in my life. First off, the first one was illegal shift or formation or something like that. They declined that. Then the second one was pass interference on the offense. Again, I've never heard of two penalties going towards the offense on a two-point conversion. How the fuck? They're forced to go to the PAT. Once again, Green Bay, their defense, they're not even blocking. You got four defenders just standing there just waiting for them to kick it, and they bounce it off the crossbar on some Cody Parkey shit. No good. It's the third quarter. It is 34 to 16. Jordan Love is coming down there carving niggas up once again. Aaron Jones carving them up again. Jordan Love throws a pass off to the corner. It is not even Romeo Dobbs this time. It is Luke Musgrave over there. There is no Cowboy defender in sight. He runs in and scores 41 to 16. Speaking of no Cowboys in sight, all these Cowboy fans was rushing towards the stadium. Half the stadium was gone once Luke Musgrave scored. It was 41-16 to 16 at this point. I think it was about six minutes left of the third quarter. Nigga. <laughs> that couldn't do nothing with the ball. Green Bay gets the ball back. Once again, Aaron Jones is marching down the field, doing whatever the hell he wants. Jordan Love throwing down the field, doing whatever the hell he wants. Fourth and two at the goal line. Jordan Love, they don't even bother taking a field goal. He's throwing through the middle. He throws it straight through the middle. There's four defenders over there. Romeo Dobbs catches it on the ground. Touchdown, 48-16. to 16. Nigga. They're up 48-16 to 16 in the fourth quarter with six minutes left. Now, kudos to Jake Ferguson. He did get two TDs in that point when it became 48-32. to 32. But bottom line is, you knew they threw their third stringers in at that point. It was like, get the fuck out of here. 
Jake Ferguson was the only person that came to play. Like, not just the fact that he got three TDs and doing his thing, but just literally all the general. Bottom line is, offense, defense, special teams is out there being straight shit. After that, it was ball game. You know what I'm saying? The Packers easily move on. The Cowboys won and done. The only Cowboys loss I could see that was probably worse than this was when Brett Favre was with the fucking Vikings and ended up whipping a candy ass 34 to 3. 28 years of these niggas talking about, oh yeah, we're going to the Super Bowl. 28 years of you not even getting to the NFC Championship game. I know everybody was like, look, man, we're tired of you seeing going against the 49ers. You ain't beating the 49ers. The Packers said, look, we're going to be the little brother, take them off of your hands, and by God, they did. You know they're still going to keep Dak. They're still going to keep Mike McCarthy and probably try to keep Dan Quinn, but I heard Dan Quinn's probably got some uh, coaching, head coaching uh, offers or whatever like that in Seattle or Washington or the Titans or whatever the hell he wants to go to. And there you go. That's my take on the bum-ass Dallas Cowboys. Put your motherfucking head back down for this shit. Like I said, I usually don't do this, but with, after hearing my take, it was so egregious that it needed to be said.